I recently watched a film about Christian Louboutin on Netflix. It's called In Louboutin's Shoes. Louboutin is a high-end shoe designer known for his high gloss red bottomed soles that he puts on all his shoes. In the film, the narrator calls his shoes edgy, sexy, sinister, and transgressive. I can only hope to do with sweaters what Louboutin has done with shoes. Have people think of sex when they think of sweaters because sex just sells. So how would I turn a sweater into sex? First things that come to mind would be tight, skin tight, see-through, and braless. Kendall Jenner knows what I'm talking about. The highest heels that Louboutin makes are about 6.3 inches, which just sounds painful. It's obvious in the film that creativity is definitely his strong suit. He seems to be very closely involved in the creative development of new styles and new collections. They even show him sketching shoes in the film, which is something that I thought creative directors or brand owners never really did. I mean, you've got an empire to run. I, I wouldn't think you would have time to sketch. But I guess everybody runs their business a little bit differently. He gets really honest about the business side of his brand and even calls himself a bad organizer and a bad leader. At one point, the interviewer asks Louboutin who is his particular clientele for a particular collection that he was working on. And Louboutin said that he had no idea. The interviewer goes on to ask what the business model is for this particular project. And Louboutin answers, well, there is no business model in what I've been doing to Bhutan as there is not much business model in what I'm doing in general. Speaking as someone who is starting a company in the startup age that we live in, I couldn't imagine starting a company that way. But I guess that just shows how creative he is in the creative side of the business, that he was able to get away with no business structure. And there's a difference between a high-end, well-established luxury brand that has been around for about 27 years and a 2018 startup. A well-established brand has a lot more wiggle room to experiment and more funds for development. I really admire Louboutin's honesty. In the film, he says, I think that I make a very useless work, and I'm very proud of it. If you can sell something that's useless, then you must be amazing at what you do. 